Have you ever wondered if you have osteoporosis? Maybe you've heard that it's just a normal part of aging. I'm here to say osteoporosis is not a normal part of aging. In this video, we're going to talk about what osteoporosis is, what to look out for, as well as what you can do about it. Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome to my YouTube channel where we discuss all things related to bone health. I'm a 500 hour trained yoga teacher with training that's specific to osteoporosis and yoga, and I'm also a BoneFit certified fitness instructor. Additionally, I'm a certified nutritional health coach through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. So let's dive into talking about how to know if you have osteoporosis. First, let's go over what osteoporosis is. Osteoporosis is a term that refers to bone loss, not just any bone loss, but significant bone loss. A person reaches their peak bone mass at about age 30. Most of our bone is actually developed by age 20, but there is additional bone growth that happens throughout a person's 20s. After age 30, everyone gradually starts to lose some bone. However, this doesn't mean that everyone will develop osteoporosis or that osteoporosis is a normal part of aging. Osteoporosis is often called the silent disease because it sneaks up on people who are unaware that they have it. There's no pain or loss of ability with osteoporosis. People who have osteoporosis often have no idea that they have it and they feel fine. This can make it difficult to detect. For far too many people, the first sign of osteoporosis is actually having an osteoporotic related fracture. For other people, they don't learn that they have severe bone loss until their first bone density test, which is called a DEXA. When they're told that they have osteoporosis, they're left feeling stunned and unsure of what it means or what to do next regarding their bone health. The good news is that there's definitely something that you can do about it. And if you'd like to learn more about things that you can do about it, check out my series of videos called the ABCs of osteoporosis. But back to how to know if you're at risk for developing osteoporosis if you haven't had a DEXA scan yet. One key indicator of potential bone loss is a significant reduction in muscle strength. We all know that our muscles are connected to our bones, but we might not realize how significant that is relative to our bone health. Our muscles pull on our bones and this signals to our bodies that they should build more bone. Even though we reach peak bone mass at around age 30, this doesn't mean that our bodies stop creating new bone. Our bodies are busy making new bone cells and sweeping away old bone cells throughout our lives. And every seven to 10 years, our entire skeleton is actually replaced, totally replaced. In order to have strong, healthy bones, we need to have our muscles pull on them. Otherwise the bone that's replaced isn't high quality bone because the body thinks that we're not really using our bones. And so it decides that the bones don't need to be strengthened, so to speak. This means that we need to have strong, healthy muscles in order to have strong, healthy bones. So we may need to pay attention to our bone health and be on the watch for osteoporosis to develop if we have significant loss of muscle. After age 50, we tend to start losing muscle mass. We have to exercise more frequently and for longer periods of time in order to maintain ourselves than we did before age 50. Having strong, healthy muscles is key to having strong, healthy bones. This is a reason why it's so important to do weight-bearing exercise as we get older. This doesn't mean that we have to become a gym rat who lifts heavy weights regularly. Now, I'm not saying that going to the gym and lifting is a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. And if you're into going to the gym and lifting, then by all means, keep it up. All I'm saying here is that there are many ways of doing weight bearing exercise and that you should find a way that you enjoy and then become consistent about doing that thing. I offer a yoga for osteoporosis monthly membership where we use our own body weight to get weight bearing exercise. If you like yoga, 
Details about that are in the description if you want to know more. If you don't like yoga, that is also totally okay. There are many ways to get weight-bearing exercise. The main thing is to find something that you like and to be consistent about doing it because your bones will thank you for it. A second warning sign for osteoporosis is losing an inch or more of height or having changes in your natural posture. There are multiple reasons for losing height, so don't panic if you've lost height. Just know that it may be a warning sign of osteoporosis. Going along with a loss of height may be shortness of breath from reduced lung capacity if your spine has become compressed enough that it puts pressure on your lungs. Third, there are several health conditions that make it more likely that a person will develop osteoporosis. It's important to be aware of what they are so that you can talk to your doctor about the potential for significant bone loss and hopefully be tested early with a DEXA scan, earlier than the typical age of 65 anyway. Medical conditions that make osteoporosis more likely include thyroid disease, diabetes, celiac, irritable bowel syndrome, blood disorders, and autoimmune conditions like rheumatoid arthritis. I have rheumatoid arthritis, and I regularly discuss with my doctor the potential for osteoporosis. Fourth, nutritional deficiencies are also potential causes for developing bone loss. If we don't have the right nutritional building blocks in our bodies, then our muscles lack what they actually need to pull on our bones and signal our bodies to create new bone growth. It's especially important to be aware of the potential for vitamin D3 deficiency. Many people are unaware of their vitamin levels or that they have potential deficiencies. Our bodies need vitamin D3 to be able to properly absorb calcium, the calcium that we consume, whether that's in supplement or food form. You can also check with your doctor to see what your vitamin levels are each year and monitor how you're doing. Then you'll know if you need to adjust anything, either to supplement, to decrease, or to increase an amount that you're taking. If you have a medical condition, a nutritional deficiency, significant loss in height, or have had significant muscle loss, talk to your doctor about possible bone loss. See if you can get a DEXA scan and know for sure whether or not you have osteoporosis. If you do learn that you have bone loss, know that all is not lost. You can help your body give you strong, healthy bones by improving your nutrition that's geared towards having strong, healthy bones and also by becoming consistent in your regular weight-bearing exercise. If you know someone who would benefit from this information, please share it with them. Together we can build strong, healthy bones and a supportive community of people working together to improve bone health and quality of life.